Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about TypeScript use state. So in this video, we are going to use use state um, as a way to introduce some very common and important uh, concepts within TypeScript. So let's actually start off with um, creating a use state hook. I will call it um, user. And right here we have set user. And let's say that this simply is the username. So I can say use state and we have a default value of uh, username. So now, of course, I could render that username in my app like this. And there we go. We got our username. Now, what you will see once I hover over user, it will tell me that the user is a string. And this is what's called in TypeScript as type inference. So what TypeScript will do, it will automatically detect that the user is a string. And that's simply because we passed a string as a default value. If we would have passed a number and it would hover over user, you will see TypeScript notice that it's a number. So that's a very nice feature. But now let's imagine that the user is not just a, a string, but it's an object. So let's make uh, the functionality where we click a button and then fetch the user. And we're not going to use a real API, but we're just um, going to, uh, to sort of mock that call. So um, what I will do, I will get started by uh, defining uh, a function that then returns the user object. So I will say const fetch user and that will then return set user and let's say it returns then an object or actually sets the object where we say a name um age uh, country and let's say we have an address property on here as well which will then have street, but main street, number uh, 88. And let's say we have a zip code on here as well. Um, yeah, let's do like a string for now, like this. And let's say we also have we tell whether the user is a admin or not. So in this case, we will say that Mitchell is not an admin. So now the default user um, state uh, does not make a lot of sense to set it to a number, right? So by default, we want to say the user is null, and now we can make the functionality where we, um, let's say have a button and I will say fetch user on click. And this will then have an on-click event. And that will then execute the fetch user function and thus will set user to this object right here. And let's say we then want to um, show the, uh, uh, well, actually what we want to do right here is we want to conditionally render the um, the the user right because if it's no we don't want to show anything and once the user is set uh, and thus is truthy then we want to uh, show let's say the username so I could say if the user is truthy then render a paragraph tag with um, let's see uh, welcome user dot name and now when I save it and I go to my React app, you will see it will fill. And you can also see that, of course, in the code editor, because if I hover over name right now, and right here you see this is a TypeScript error, and sometimes those can become pretty long, right? Sometimes they are like even eight or nine times as long. You have to scroll all the way down. Uh, but most often you'll find the most useful information all the way down. 
uh, right here. And let's actually take a look what it says. So it says object literal may only specify known properties and name does not exist in type pref state no, no. So when I hover over user, you will see it has a no um, set as a type to it, right? That's the uh, type in inference we talked about before. But this is not working because we want to make sure that the user can be either no or it should ha contain the user object, right? And that's actually what we're going to do right now. So we're going to make sure that we explicitly tell TypeScript that user can be either no or it can be the user object and that's called um, a type annotation. So explicitly telling TypeScript what to do. So I will make an interface right here and I will call it user. And what I can actually do, I can copy this whole object. And now we want to define all the properties of the object. So this will be a string and this will be a string as well. And another one. And another one. And then we have right here, we have a number. And another number and admin is a boolean. So now we have a typed um, user object. So now we can say right here, just after uh, use state, we can use these angle brackets. And now I can say that user is either user or it's null. And now you will see all the errors are gone. And when I save the file, and I go to the application and I click on the button, it will show Welcome Mitchell. So what we do right here is actually called a union type. So that's essentially saying it can be either this or this, and we could either even like uh, chain this with, it could also be like a Boolean. Um, but this is something you will very often do in, in your React app when using a use state hook that you first um, set the state to, with a, to a default value of no. And then, you know, so when something happens in your, in, your, uh, in your application, then it will set the, um, uh, the state to a certain object. So what we did right here is not a very good practice because what we did is we nested an object within an object. So what you most of the time want to do and I'm actually talking about the, the, the user type right here. What you actually want to do is say interface and let's make another interface for address like this. And now I can pretty much copy this. And now I will say that address will equal address. Oops like this. So this first of all makes it a little bit cleaner. But this also now allows us to also use the address um, uh, if we need it in a specific place without needing, for example, the user um, property, and you will see that our application will still work. Now, the last thing I'd like to show you is a way where we can um, put these um, interfaces in another file. And that doesn't always make sense, but I think in this case it would, because if you saw the previous video where we defined the interface of app props, right? So we said something like uh, interface app props. And I think we had like um, something like header text is a string. And then we used it right here to uh, type our props. Now in this case, it's, you know, perfectly fine. And I would even recommend it to just leave that interface right here because the only place where this interface will be used is in our application or in our app component. Now, for the user object and address, you know, imagine that we are going to, uh, like, you know, create a pretty large application, most likely you will use that user and address object in multiple places throughout your app. So what you often see what people do is they go in their source folder and they create a file 
um, for example, interfa interfaces.ts. And they then take the interfaces and uh, I will remove this for now because we don't need it, of course. And they will put them right here. And then, of course, we need to export both of them. Or, well, in this case, we could say we export only user. But most of the time, this file will always export every um, interface. And now, of course, we will get an error because it cannot find the user. But in this case, we can simply say quick fix import user from module interfaces. And I want to save it. Everything is still working. But what's nice about this is that let's say we have another component, uh, for example, I don't know, like an account profile component. Then we can do the same thing. We can simply import that user um, interface from the interfaces TS file. So that was it pretty much for TypeScript and using your state with it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.